with standard Dix Hall Pike testing, which is just turning the head and lying the patient down, almost one in five test trials gave us a false negative. And there's literature out there that the, the sensitivity of a Dix Hall Pike is around 80%. So that's in conjunction with other literature. When we did a loaded Dix Hall Pikes and we did the loaded version, we reduced those false negatives down to less than 5%. So that was a substantial decrease in the number of false negatives, which helps you arrive at a diagnosis more promptly. So that's one advantage of the loaded Dix Hall Pike that we noted in our study. The other is you have longer to watch a show. So when you do a test, the duration of nystagmus is substantially longer with loaded Dix Hall Pike testing. And then, as I mentioned in the demo, the one negative potentially is patients get more symptomatic, so their symptoms are stronger on average with loaded Dix Hall Pike testing compared to standard Dix Hall Pike testing. So that could be one potential negative is it could induce stronger symptoms um, for your patient when you do loaded testing. So just keep that in mind. So although you can see it better, it lasts longer, it's more likely to happen, your patient may become more symptomatic with the test when you do the loaded version. So that's just some data for you to to review.